Michelle dresses like she's trying to catch dick in a book burning. Adam is what you get when you ask a blind David Duke to remember a Jew. <laughs> Do you remember the Jew? <laughs> Uh, I loved you in Misery, by the way. Um, I, I loved you in the Nickelodeon documentary. Uh, I was a powerful, powerful man. Uh, if Michelle and I were a couple, my brother would still think I'm gay. He still does. I am genuinely honored to be here roasting the actual moon right before his big solar eclipse. Y'all get to say you saw me before I was famous. That's a... uh... Michelle and I are both medical anomalies. Uh, I've actually never had a working pulmonary valve. And Michelle is the first patient to ever beat Down syndrome. <laughs> Are you saying this haircut makes me look retarded? Anyway. It makes somebody look retarded. Uh, Adam reminds me of the Kool-Aid man. If the only walls he bashed through belonged to a Gaza hospital. <laughs> you thought you could live here? Oh no! <laughs> Don't let Michelle fool you, she is also Jewish. But she's never been bought mitzvah, so we only let her control the credit unions. <laughs> this is true. Adam, when he was in college, he was part of a sexual health theater troupe. He played the ovary with cancer. <laughs> Both testicles and the lump. I also played the drunk guy you shouldn't have sex with. <laughs> He's a credit, baby. Michelle lost her virginity on her 27th birthday. And that is why Burger King doesn't do birthday parties anymore. Adam is the only person I've ever met with awake apnea. <laughs> We're all worried. <laughs> Michelle's father walked out on her and you know, that kind of trauma brings up a lot of questions, like, why not her barber? <laughs> if Adam were a rich man, but all of his underwear would probably have elastic. <laughs> Last joke. Oh, it does. It does. Uh, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to these good people. It's more comfortable that way. What, do you wear underwear that comes more than five in a pack? That's fucking rich. Uh, Michelle once drank 13 glasses of water in one sitting, which is super fucking dangerous. Never do that. Like, you could, you could drown your organs, seriously. Thankfully, all that happened to Michelle was a sunken chin. Ouch. Okay, so Adam is what you get if Jeff Goldblum got into the machine from the fly, but he took like a 14-year-old pug with him. <laughs> and Michelle is what you get if Gina Davis's nephew draws a picture of his least favorite aunt. <laughs> You're saying I look like Gina Davis, I'll take it. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Any Oh. That was the last one. Never mind. Yeah. All right. Do you have another one you want to share? Or? No, after you. You do yours. Oh, working. I was trying to shake your hand. Oh, okay. It's called, it's... That's the roast. All right. <laughs> That's it. They're done. <laughs> okay, you guys give it up for them. That was a great roast. Of course it ends with me having an awkward exchange with a woman. No, we were just... <laughs> 
We were just shocked. We've never seen you drink so much water on stage before. That was crazy. <laughs> All right, you guys. <laughs> All right. We're, uh, that re that's what we're used to seeing here at Roast Battle when Adam Quaslow is on stage. Jesus Christ, what flavor is it today? Uh, it's Spark. It's uh, raspberry and lemonade. It's very refreshing. <laughs> okay. All right, you guys, I'm going to turn it to the panel. Uh, Chris Grieco, what are your thoughts? Oh, thank God, you know? <laughs> Those last two, woof, you know? <laughs> One more time for them. I loved that so much. Yeah. Give it up. I loved it. Oh, man. Uh, double Jew. Now, <laughs> at, halfway through, I was really upset. I was like, damn it, I really don't know who to vote for because you guys, I mean, that was such a, that was like fucking exactly what we wanted. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, you know, Quazlo did the underwear thing and then followed by the sunken chin thing. <laughs> And then I was like, oh, it's Michelle. So Michelle, you get my vote. Michelle, give it up. But I love both of you very much. That was a great battle. All right, Grace, what are we thinking? <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah, you guys threw out some good punches. Uh, I was very impressed. You're both the kind of people that I would be embarrassed to tell my friends I slept with. Um, <laughs> And so I love that you two were both making fun of each other for also being ugly. Like, OK. Uh, um, OK. Some of the audience didn't like that. Uh, I, <laughs> Whoever didn't like that, let me know after the show. <laughs> um, Quasla, you had some really great jokes. But I think, Michelle, yours, you, the fact they were topical and hilarious, I'm going to give it to you. Two for Michelle. Alex, what are we thinking? Ah, uh, that was the most Jewish anti-Semitic set of the night. <laughs> Adam, I don't know how you made drinking water look unhealthy, but you <laughs> We all have our talents. Really came in like a wrecking ball on that one. Yeah. Um, absolute, uh, like a great back and forth. This is what Roast Battle is all about. Congratulations, guys. You guys uh, were incredible, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it to Michelle. All right, Michelle's our winner. Woo! Give it up for Michelle. Final thoughts from Emerson. All right, Hitler was not right, but a broken clock is right specifically twice a day. Uh, they're both swollen, not with talent, but with something else. Uh, I gotta get all these out at the end. It's the last thing and, and she already won. Uh, Adam, you look like if Wolverine got injured but then just kept regenerating, like it never stopped. <laughs> Um, you guys remember the battle where they were all wearing all black? Does it kind of look like Adam put on all of their clothes <laughs> after this? Um, Adam, uh, yeah, it was very good. I think uh, the analysis so far has been correct that Michelle just had uh, a few that hit when you didn't. So I'm going to give it to Michelle. She yes, Michelle's our reason. winner. Give it up for Michelle Davey, everybody. What a great roast. Yeah, good. we'll shake it. Uh, you guys going to hang out here with me or what's going on? You guys. Yeah, you can go. You can go. You, please. Get out of here. Get out of here. That's our final battle, you guys. Give it up. That's the roast of the night. There we go. Wow. Thanks so much for coming out, everybody. That was our, our roast show. We're here every first and third Thursday of the month. Um, please give it up for your servers. Please do not leave until you've uh, finished up with your servers. Lexi, Hannah, Jen, Dave, give it up for all of them for serving you here tonight. And please, when you exit, please exit through that side door with the big exit sign. Much appreciated. That'll help the flow of traffic. Please don't forget to follow Zanies first and foremost on social media so you can keep updated with all their shows. And then Roast Battle. Please follow Roast Battle Chicago on social media. Hey, thanks for watching Roast Battle Chicago. If you guys want to subscribe to our channel, you get even more content, a bunch of it, hours of it for free. And you can hit that little like button down there, hit the subscribe right over here, and check out these videos right over here.